The damages were tremendous. More than 2,000 small businesses were targeted. The huge majority of businesses that were ransacked and arsoned and looted were Korean-owned. We've been through so much and to go through this. I mean, everything, 22 years down the drain. Initially, KYC, Korean News Center, came about where Korean kids can just drop by and uh, discuss their problems and share their stories and see if they can get support. After the 1992 LA riot, I think we came to understand that we need to provide services to other ethnic groups, other immigrant groups, and work together. It was time for us to see the other side. How are we going to rebuild this community together? KYCC was founded in 1975. It was a small agency providing services for high-risk Korean-American youth. When we started out, the name of the organization was Korean Youth Center. And the first name change that we had was we expanded that name to say, you know, you can't just deal with the kids. You got to deal with the family and community. And we expanded the, the reach of the organization and renamed it to be the Koreatown Youth and Community Center. The riots really helped us realize that there is no just one group in Koreatown. We're all working together and living together. So KYCC made a huge effort to bring people together that usually had a lot of conflicts or misunderstandings or sometimes no communications. KYCC took huge steps to bring people together, have conversations and really rebuild businesses and the community. And I think that took like a decade work to change staffing, leadership, but more importantly, building a different culture within the organization. And I think that's how we became multicultural today. We have over four to five different groups that meet throughout Koreatown. All these parents come from the local schools and they have then spread the word with other parents. I think it really grew because we realized quickly that uh, parents not only needed to be educated, but they really needed to be given tools and resources in order to really like thrive and to really have like good quality of life. The kids grow up here, they come to KYCC for services, they go to school, they graduate from college, and when they come back and apply as staff and continue to provide their services to the younger kids, and I think that's a success story. Everybody has different journeys, but for me, I really felt like it was important to give back to the place where I was raised, to kind of be that beacon of hope or support for families of where I grew up. I'm an instructor for the third, fourth, and fifth grade classroom, as well as the supervisor for the elementary program. During the after school program, we have different activities going on. Because some of them do come from a difficult background, some of them have been in the foster care system, some of them have been formerly homeless. It makes me appreciate the work that is impacting these kids. It's really not just building community, but building families. And I think that's a very important concept because I think we really need to find ways for us to feel empathy for those that are in need. Koreatown welcomes everyone. It's very diverse. It's a beautiful place of like mixed cultures. When you have diversity, when you have culture, you have that exposure to the younger generation, you get more of an open-mindedness with the community. Now that I'm involved in it, I can see KYCC being such a huge part of this community. The fusion and the connection between the cultures have come to a place where we've realized that we're not that different. 
that we share a common struggle. I think we poured our heart and soul into what KYCC is today, and I hope that it will continue on. My hopes for KYCC is that they will continue to build the strength and the unity uh, with different languages, different ethnic groups, different generations, that they make us a stronger, stronger community. Bring them together. That's the power, is the unity that they are creating in our communities. I think the future of KYCC is to continue to build the capacity of the organization so that we could continue to serve and bring communities together.